all the viewers and listeners of this edition of Fixing the Market with Sundar Mutual Fund. As expected in the last policy, MPC held the repo rate at six and a half and reiterated that this is not a pivot, indicating a preference to act on any surprise on inflation and to underline the preference maintained the stance at withdrawal of accommodation. In the month gone by, the 10 year benchmark yield has risen by about 15 basis points to 7.12%. A response to a combination of strong growth of domestic markets, as witnessed by the robust tax collections, both direct and indirect, PMI numbers in expansion zone, lower unemployment, and to some extent, allaying of fears on failure of monsoon, along with global yields remaining firm. With festival season kicking in by end of this quarter, along with robust credit offtake, particularly in personal loan segment, money demand remaining high is quite probable, leading to a liquidity remaining on a tighter leash. Consequently, we think the 10 year can trade in a range as MPC remains vigilant on inflation, while the money market yields can track the market liquidity, aligning to a spread over repo rate or SDF rate depending on the liquidity conditions in the market. In the corporate bond markets, the spreads continue to remain range bound and are expected to remain there as we see that banks remain competitive on their loan pricing versus the capital market. The only caveat here is we are witnessing some early signs of liability side pressures as current account, savings account as a proportion of deposits come up marginally while credit growth continues to clock higher than the deposit growth. Comfort in the form of excess SLR is likely to support credit demand in the near term. In the next few quarters, we may see some slowdown in credit demand as seasonal factors like festival season kick in with some structural factors like upcoming state and national elections, tighter global liquidity, etc. The global liquidity from its peak has already shrunk by 10%. After a fair amount of tussle, the markets have now started believing the job winning by Federal Reserve of not cutting the rates this calendar year. This has been also supported by a slew of better than expected data, particularly on GDP growth, employment and housing markets. On the other hand, the second largest economy, China, continued to weather the storm with People Bank of China cutting rates and inducing liquidity to prime the economy. We think in the US, growth will slow as higher rates feed into the economy, while in China, old method of infrastructure push to proper GDP is unlikely to yield the desired result on suboptimal multiplier outcome. For India, this has been showing in weaker goods export and a higher trade deficit and can result in dragging down the overall growth. But with India's reforms and strong domestic orientation, it is likely to get a larger share of global flows keeping a lid on sudden rise in rates. In case the United States resorts to a hiking rate more than what is already discounted by the market, Monetary Policy Committee is likely to follow suit. Based on this, in a continuation of our earlier stance, we recommend active mid-duration buckets as a preferred route of investment on account of better price discovery due to liquidity which results in a better capture of the interest rate moves. Products which we have in our basket are Sundaram Short Term Fund, Sundaram Corporate Bond Fund, and Sundaram Banking and PSU Fund. Keeping this in mind, we recommend investors to take positions in mid-duration buckets if they have 12 to 18 months horizon, and investors with conservative risk appetites match their investment horizon with duration of product or to a position in ultra-conservative products like liquid or overnight if they do not have the requisite risk capital. Thanks for joining us in this episode. Looking forward to see you next month. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.